nerd of the toilet. Hello, Explorers. It's Kita the Explorer here, and today I am checking out of my hotel in Rome in Italy. I'm going back to the United States. I could have used another week. Italy did not do me wrong. I did Italy wrong by not being here long enough. So I have to actually put this on the return list because there's just so much to see in this country. But Today I am flying to New York and I'm going to have an extended layover in New York. I'm actually gonna stay the night and do a few things if the tropical storm does not ruin plans. So let's go have breakfast and then catch the shuttle to Rome's airport. But first, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell right next to it so you'll be notified when all of my videos are released. Videos are released on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Time and Thursdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And on my channel, I talk about all things travel, the environment, and photography. Now, let's get going. I have made that little over eight hour journey from Rome to JFK Airport located in Queens, New York, which is about a little over an hour from Manhattan where my hotel is located. In order to get there, first I need to hop onto the air train from JFK in Terminal 4. You must take, in my case, the air train towards Jamaica and get off at that station. Once you get off, you'll pay $7.75 to exit. Yo, it is hot, hot, hot in the subway tunnel. Like, I'm glad I'm not taking this to the airport. I'm gonna have to change my clothes again. Hot. Ooh. I ended up taking two different subway trains to get there and then got off and walked to my hotel from the subway. Explorers, have you signed up for my mailing list yet? If not, head on over to ketoexplorer.com backslash subscribe and get on my mailing list and see what's going on on my website because I have some information that will soon be released and you need to be on the mailing list to get it. Also, did you know I sell prints from my travels and photographs from all over the globe? So make sure you head on over to ketoexplorer.darkroom.tech so you can pick out photos from South Africa to the United States to liven up your space, just as I did with this photo. Now back to the regularly scheduled program. After checking into my hotel, I had to make my way down to Clinton Hall for something to eat. It was right down the street from my hotel and it was one of the restaurants recommended by the hotel. The hotel had a full list of restaurant recommendations nearby in the neighborhood. And this was well worth the treat. It had a nice little vibe inside the restaurant and you did have to show your vaccine card and your ID in order to get in because New York City implemented a law where you have to do that um, as of August 2021. So let me enjoy this lovely drink and this massive Philly steak cheese steak that you will see here shortly. All right, explorers, let's continue the layover experience in New York City. So last night, um, as you can see, I went to Clinton Hall, I believe, for dinner, which was really delicious, but it was a lot of food. The drink was actually pretty good. Um, and so I came back to the hotel, or came to my hotel and went to sleep. I stayed at the Holiday, well, as you can see, I'm still in the hotel room, but I stayed at the Holiday Inn Express, Manhattan, Times Square South. This hotel is really only a place to sleep. It's decent, 
My room actually sucked because the toilet kept like running every 10 minutes. It might run while I'm recording this, which is absolutely annoying. Like it's so loud. The first two times I went off, it like scared me, I jumped. And then um, it was really actually cold in here. It took me a while to like adjust the temperature and make it at least reasonable for me to sleep. And then also it's a handicap room. So the shower was made for someone to be in a wheelchair. And there goes the toilet. Like they really need to fix that immediately. Um, so the shower is made for a wheelchair. So as I was showering, water was bouncing out all over the place because the shower head wasn't up high enough. So I had to make that real quick because it was like running out onto the floor. So I'm gonna go grab a little bit of breakfast and then um, we're actually gonna go to the 9-11 Memorial. Um, they also have a museum there, but um, I don't have time to go into the museum. So just gonna go to the Memorial, particularly because 9-11 is coming up this end of August. So it'll be appropriate, but yeah. So let's go get breakfast and then hop on the subway to go to the 9-11 Memorial. Okay, welcome to the 9-11 Memorial. These are the names of the people who died in 9-11 in New York. Pentagon and the plane crash that goes all around the structure. As I was walking through the memorial site for 9 11, I realized that. Each of the memorials are located where the actual Twin Tower buildings were located. I found this quite eerie, but a very needed memorial. And you will find that it's very quiet in this area as you should expect it to be. The flowers on each individual's name signifies that their birthday has passed or is coming. It is a way to remember each of the individuals listed here in the memorial for 9-11. As you can see here, they also have the names of the victims from the 1993 World Trade Center attacks. So at the 9-11 memorial, they remember all people who lost their lives on 9-11 and any World Trade Center attacks. Once you enter the building, you will walk around the first floor, up some stairs, around another floor, and you will reach a security checkpoint and ticket control. And security is pretty tight at this building. I got stopped because I had a lot of electronics in my bag. You know, I'm in a layover. So I had a computer and my camera and all that jazz. But once they went through my bag, I was good to go. Once you pass the ticket control, you will see a lot of history about the building before, during, and after, and you'll see why it's the world's most famous building with a lot of photographs of movie covers, magazines, and celebrities. Now we will catch an elevator up to the 80th floor. The 80th floor is the first stop up to the observation deck. It is inside and everyone has to stop here because then you have to transfer over to another elevator to go up to the 86th floor.
We have now reached the 86th floor where you can go outside. You can actually view the city through some binoculars outside or just get a breath of fresh air and take photos along the way. You can also look up and see the tip of the building at the top and you can walk around and go back in. And if you pay additional, you can go even further up and view the city from the top of the Empire State Building. Price to go up to the 86th floor observatory, which is the main deck that we are looking out at New York City at right now, is $42 for adults, $36 for children, and $40 for senior citizens. You can continue up to the top deck at the 102nd floor, which includes seeing the 86th floor as well for $75 for an adult. I was good with that, so I just did the 86th floor. So you can spend as much time as you want, but if you buy tickets online, which is preferred, you will have a timed entry. And if you wait to go in person, they may or may not have ticket times available for you. So definitely buy online to make sure you can get inside. Explorers, my layover in New York City is coming to an end, and I hope you enjoyed this quick little touch point in New York City. So, if you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to leave any questions you may have or comments down below, and share this video with your friends, family, and social media networks. Thank you so much for watching. Now let me head back to the hotel, get my bags, and head to the airport. See you later. Safe travels.